Hey, how's it going everybody? So, um, I'm back. So today I need to do some work. I still haven't moved into the house yet, but I need to start getting some of the drops ready. So what I'm going to be doing today is going room by room and actually starting to terminate uh, the cables with uh, Cat6 adapters. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, Right now, uh, we are getting a severe winter storm uh, at the moment. Um, don't worry, everything is safe. It's scheduled to arrive tomorrow. That's when hell is going to break loose. But I'm going to try to finish up early or the fastest that I can because it's starting to rain. I don't foresee any snow yet, but you never know. So, uh, yeah, let me go right ahead and start taking care of this. Okay, so um, I just want to add this just in case if you haven't seen my previous videos or anything like that. But me and my dad, we actually threw cables all over this house. So I just want to show you uh, what is going on. So we actually threw two cables, which are Cat6 cables right here. And then, of course, uh, the you know the builder technically through a cat five and a coaxial that I thought they connected, but that's not the case. So um, yeah, so that's technically what all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab one of these face plates, which is a two port face plate, and then just basically just crimp it and then, you know, set it and forget it. So yeah, that's what I gotta do. So this, that's on that one. And then I have to do the other one over there. So I finally finished. Uh, I believe it uh, took me about an hour and 45 minutes, maybe two hours. So the amount of drops were actually 21 drops. So I had to go right ahead and terminate every single one of them. So let me go ahead and show you what I did. Um, I still haven't cleaned up. Um, I'm most likely going to be doing that before I leave. So yeah, let's go right ahead and show you what I did. Okay, so here's one of the bedrooms. So that was the very first one I did. And then you get to see there's another one. So total of four ports right here. Now, if we go to, if we go to the second bedroom, so you get to see, of course, there's two ports there and then two ports over here. So this is gonna be the office. So hopefully this will be more than enough. Next spot was actually the living room. So this faceplate actually has um, six, available for six ports, but I only threw five of them. So there's just one just empty right there. And then over here, it's all like we echo. <laughs> and then over here on this side, so there's uh, two more ports right there. So in the living room, it would be seven ports in total master bedroom of course it was a, the same setup for the other bedrooms so two right here most likely a tv will be placed here and then two more on the side i also threw two cables over here in the garage so there's two cables right here there's nothing on that side so everything is just right here so this is the network stuff I'm planning, so this is my, my grandmaster plan is, I wanna go ahead and set up some sort of workstation that I can actually build computers instead of just moving things out of the way from my actual just work desk and actually have a workstation, or I shouldn't say a workstation, but a workbench uh, available. So I'm planning on probably 
setting something up here, maybe some shelves over here, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. But at least we have power and two network cables or network drops. Okay, so this is gonna be just um, the first day. I still need to come back and actually um, connect everything up. So here's uh, 22 cables. I know I said 21 that I terminated, but there was a catch. So I did set up one here in the hallway up here for an access point, but I couldn't get, I, I, I couldn't do it on time. I should just record over here. I couldn't really do it since they were throwing, what is it, kind of like the insulation and all that stuff. So I really couldn't really just throw the drop and then have it hanging there. So yeah, that technically the drop is still there, but I can't get to the attic. And unfortunately I did talk to the builder and they say that they usually don't do access to the attics or an attic access. So I have to do that myself, but I'm not gonna do it right now, maybe later on, who knows. For part two, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it tomorrow since the weather is gonna be bad. So I might just wait because today is Wednesday. So I might just wait until Friday, maybe Saturday, but we'll see. So we'll see you later on. All right, so day two, um, I was a little bit busy. I'm actually, I actually already moved in. I started moving some of my stuff. First time moving in and wow, I did not know I had so much stuff and just so much uh, items that just I have I've accumulated over the years. It's just wow. But besides the point, I just wanna show you. So today I'm gonna go right ahead and start patching every single room. So I wanna show you how I'm gonna be doing this. I just wanna go right ahead and show you. So I technically already kind of patched what was it? Uh, I believe this cable right here was for the access point and this one, this one was for my desktop just because I needed a little bit more speed. This one right here, I don't know if I showed you, but um, this is actually for the internet. Yeah, uh, what was it? The technician went right ahead and actually installed it. So it's actually connecting to the Netgear router. Now this is just a temporary router right now. I'm, I'm gonna change the router later on, but let's see. So this is what I'm gonna do. So we have all the cables here. So actually before I show you what I'm gonna do, let me show you what I'm using. All right, so this is not a 16 port uh, switch. This is actually the one that I installed on my house or in my house. Um, but this is actually another one. This is actually a 24 port one that I originally was using and now I'm gonna be using in this house. So yeah, I have a switch here. I have this 2U um, little wall mount rack. So this is just, you know, it's just gonna be for, of course, the patch panel and then for the switch itself. So one of the things that I had to buy were these little StarTech rack accessories. So these actually extend, I believe it was two inches because the switch will not fit in this rack, it's actually too long. So with this, this should help it out to extend it outwards and then I could go ahead and install it. So with all that said, it's gonna be technically somewhere here. I just want it somewhere around here. I'm gonna go ahead and just basically patch all the cables and then test the runs, make sure everything is good. Um, and then I guess we'll just test it out. So that being said, let's go right ahead and get to it. So we have this mounted, here we go. So it's, 
it's their sturdy. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get the patch panel and I'm gonna basically place it here. Then the switch will be on top of it. So that's gonna be the plan. Uh, I went right ahead and patched everything already. Let me go right ahead and show you. So everything's already patched. Uh, I did some cable management here. So there's some zip ties right here that are just holding down the cables. I was originally gonna be showing you me doing everything, but there was just a lot of back and forth, back and forth. So I was just like, no, I'll just go right ahead and show them the actual finished product. So now that we have this complete, I gotta set up the switch. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm almost done, but I wanna show you exactly these little extenders right here. So um, yeah, like I said, I mean, the switch that I have will not fit in here. So this is actually a little bit kind of uh, curved to the side. So whenever you're gonna rack mount it, this will actually just slide in. So let me go ahead and show you. Here we have the switch, it already has the rack mounts on it. So if I just place it here, you can see, I don't know if you could see it, but the holes align. And then same thing over here. Now, now, it was a little bit tricky to install these because this is a screwdriver that I have, but if I had a longer one, technically I could have just gone right through here and then actually secured it a lot more better than actually trying to do, you know, this type of number and trying to, you know, tighten this. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those little extension, I guess, what is this? Uh, kind of extension rack. So just to go right ahead and give it an extra two inches. Okay, so this is the final product. Now, I haven't really actually uh, connected everything. I still have to do, um, I wanna do a couple of other things before I actually just finish this off. But um, I did encounter an issue that I just wanna show. So, these little cables right here, I actually bought it from Amazon. And I thought these were gonna work. I mean, technically they will work, but here's the catch. Let's say if I'm in port, let's just say 10, right? And I want to either go a little bit further. Let's just say it's like I'm trying to connect to, you know, seven. I'm kind of stretching the cable a little bit, but I can't get to either this side or as well as this side. So I need to order some more cables that are the correct length. So that was an oversight on my end. But... Uh, yeah, so that is uh, technically the end of the, I guess, network portion of it. The next thing is going to be actually building, um, I guess, what would it be? Uh, a new router, which this is just a temporary router, like I said. And then I will still have to um, technically set up my server. Um, I'm not going to be... I'm not too much in a hurry because I got other things that I want to do, but um, yeah, that's going to be on the list of things to do. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is the end of this video. Um, it took me a while. It took me a little bit longer than I was ante anticipating on, you know, actually finish. I was like, oh, I'll finish in two hours. I think again, <laughs> three hours because I'm one person, so I got to be running left and right and trying to fix little things. It wasn't a perfect run. There was some pairs that were not punched down correctly. That was all on me. But luckily I tested everything and then I was able to rectify all that stuff. So right now everything is good. So I'm happy. All right. And like always, I really do hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you on the next one.